Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a two looks, one palette using the Mulan X Colourpop Eyeshadow Palette. This palette is part of the collection that launched way back in March, right when the live action movie was supposed to originally hit theaters. But of course, because of the lockdowns and everything that happened, Colourpop wasn't able to ship it. I just got the whole collection about a week ago. It's the PR box sitting back there and then it's the Jasmine Mill and this is the overnight lip mask. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so beautiful back here next to Mushu, but I was looking forward to playing with this palette some more, so I thought it'd be fun to put together two looks. I love the packaging on this palette. The red and the gold writing. Yeah, the phoenix up here. Just all the detail that went into this entire collection was so beautiful, but let's go ahead and move into look number one. I've already set my eyelids using my Juvia's Place Concealer. You guys know how much I love to use that as my primer. For this first look, I think I want to do something kind of bronzy, maybe a little bit of gold. So we're going to take Brave and we're going to lay that all over the eyelids and then maybe take Strength, which is kind of a more chocolatey brownish shade here, and lay that on the eye corner. I just want this one to be kind of simple, not too much work. Let's take Brave. And lay that all over this area. I love the matte formula in this palette. They're so smooth and buttery. They blend so well. The only thing that I would say is missing, it's like I said when I did the unboxing I was talking about this, is that it's missing a really pretty jade green kind of a shade and maybe even a deep rich purple. I feel like if it had those shades, in the palette, it would just be perfect. Because there's a lot of browns and kind of chocolatey kind of shades in here. A lot of the shades kind of pull similar. I don't know, it's like without that jade green, I just don't feel like the color story is just completely pulled together and completely matching Mulan as a character. Now we're gonna go in with that strength shade and we're gonna lay that in that crease area just to kind of deepen everything up. We're just kind of slowly building up. This is actually my second time filming this look. The first time it just was not going well. I don't know what was going on but my concealer and my foundation on the outer part of my eye was just breaking up. It was so weird and it's like nothing was blending together well and I know it wasn't the shadows so it had to have been some kind of combination with the concealer and stuff because it just it was not working and I was like yeah we're, we're not no this this is not going to work. I do not want to post this as the first look because it was a little bit of a disaster so I just took everything off and refilmed and and it's already looking a hundred times better. I want to deepen that crease area just a little bit more. I really like how kind of a rusty, kind of an orange shade that is. I'm going to take that kind of in here just a little bit. To finish off that outer corner area, we're going to take Guiding Spirit, which is this kind of a chocolatey brown here. And we're just going to put that right on the outer corner just to deepen right in here. And then that will basically be all the mattes that we're going to lay in our eyelids. And then we're going to lay down one of these gold shimmers and an inner corner highlight and we'll be all finished. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this and mix it a little bit with the true shade just to kind of deepen it because it's not quite as deep as I'm wanting, but I don't want to go as dark as this one. So maybe mixing the two will give me a better shade than I'm going for. Yes, that is good. Yeah, that's pretty. I just want to deepen this outer corner area right here. Press that right in to that area. So how are you guys doing where you're at in your part of the world? We've mostly reopened, you know, with our social distancing rules and stuff in place. I'm not sure. We're in phase two right now. I'm not sure when phase three is going to start. I'm not even sure what phase three is. Right now, my biggest concern is whenever the kids get ready to go back to school, I have no idea what, you know, they're going to do. CDC put out these rules and guidelines for reopening schools and I'm a substitute teacher and I honestly don't know how this is going to work. Maybe we'll have some more normalcy by August or September, but I don't know. All I know is that those rules are going to be very, very hard to actually implement in a classroom. And I'm just worried. I don't know what's going to happen 
in a few months when it's time for these kids to go back to school. It's just so much uncertainty in the world right now. Now I want to lay a shimmer right here on the eyelid there. From playing with this palette, I already know that I'm probably gonna have to wet my brush in order to get the shades to lay down the way that I want to. And I wanna put this one down on the eyelid and then take this one as my inner corner highlight. And I already know that both are going to require wetting my brush. The one thing that I noticed about this palette, which is different than most of the other ColourPop palettes, is that the shimmer formula here, a lot of them have like little tiny flecks of glitter. You look and see there's like flecks of glitter in here. This one is the press glitter, but this one, this one, and this one, all of those, even though they're not listed as press glitters, have like little bits of kind of chunk in there. So whew, let me try to be very careful because I do not want glitter all over my face. Oh man, that one is like I wet my brush, but I swear I'm not getting like anything on my brush. I might have to use my fingertip for that one. Yep, mm -hmm. see, there's nothing, nothing is happening. So I'm gonna take my fingertip. It's very smooth and creamy in the pan, but for some reason it's just not one to pick up on a brush. So I'm gonna take it on my fingertip here and hopefully we can get it to lay down on the lid. Really pretty wet looking shade. Okay, yeah, there we go. With the finger, we are definitely getting product onto the eyelid. Yeah, there we go. That's what we were going for. Yeah, the, the shimmers, the metallics in this palette are definitely different than other cop palettes. And it's not necessarily a good thing. I'm finding that they're a little bit harder to work with. I'm gonna go back in with this Guiding Spirit shade. Just kind of blend everything here and together. And I melt that shimmer in to everything else. That is a really pretty metallic. I just wish that it wasn't so chunky. You know, see, like I've got flecks of glitter falling on my face. I just wish it was smoother and more in line with the shimmers in some of the other ColourPop palettes. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Strike a Matte shade. You see that? Mm, chunky. And we're going to wet the brush just a little bit. Lay that right here. See, that's a pretty shimmer. I just hate that the shadows in this palette, I mean, well, the shimmers anyway, are just so chunky. I'm mixing Guiding Spirit and Strength together just to lay a little bit down on the lower lash line here just to kind of smoke out that area and hopefully bring everything together. And that is the shadow done. I'm going to go off camera, throw in some liner, some lashes. Hopefully everything will come together and then we'll do some final thoughts. And that's the look off finish with liner and lashes. Everything did kind of come together. The shimmer formula in this palette's not my favorite, but I do like how the look came out. I'm trying out a new face primer. This is called the Hard Candy Smoothing Primer Balm. I picked this up because Emily Noel, she's one of the channels that I follow. She's a former newscaster, stay-at-home mom, mom of three. I love her channel. She was saying that this one was more like the Tatcha Silk Canvas primer than the e.l.f. putty primer. I do like this one. This one was only $5. The one thing that I did notice about this one is this one's creamier and it definitely feels more like a balm than the e.l.f. one does. I can't say what if it's like the silk canvas or not because I've never used it before, but compared to the e.l.f. putty primer, I do like this one. I still like the e.l.f. one better. Once I do an all-day wear test, I will let you guys know what I think about it because this is my first time wearing it. For blush, I'm wearing the Milan Matchmaker shade. I love the flower and this one's more kind of a neutral brown shade just looks really really natural on the skin and for a highlight I am using the Andalasia shade this is from Colourpop 2 this was from the Disney designer collection this is the I think I think it's the Rapunzel shade but it has this really beautiful kind of a gold shimmer bronziness to it and I thought it would pair really well with that blush and it just looks so pretty but that's look number one let's move on to look number two for this look, I think I want to do a little red with some gold. So I'm going to take this shade undefeated. I think I'm going to kind of lay that all over the eyelid. Then take a little bit of B Swift here, which is that kind of pressed glitter. Use some glitter glue to kind of press this in the center here. As always, we are going to prime our lids first using our Juvia Spice Concealer. And smooth that all over our eyelids. I'm going to load up this brush with this Undefeated shade. Undefeated is kind of a satin matte. 
it has just a little bit of shimmer in it but i want to take that and kind of lay that all over the eyelid all the way up into the crease and then lay down that gold one thing i noticed from doing my first look for this video I'm just kind of playing around with the shades. If you notice when I did the initial unboxing and the swatches, when I did that video and I did the swatches, the shades looked very icy and wet and smooth on the skin. They're just really beautiful. But when I went to play with those same shades, the same, the same formula on my eyelids, when I did the first look, they were kind of chunky. And even wetting my brush, I had a hard time getting them to stay on my eyelid. And I had to take my fingertip to press it down. That B Swift shade, which is that pressed glitter in the top row of the palette, that one, even with my fingertip, would not stay on my eyelid. I pretty much realized with that one, the only way to get that shade to work is that I'm going to have to use a glitter glue first to get that one to stick on my eyelid and not have glitter falling all the way down my face. But we're just taking this red shade. We're just blending it all the way into the crease, just all over the eyelid. This look is pretty much going to have two, maybe three shades. Just the red and then the gold. I'm going to take a thinner brush and we're going to lay that so we can lay the shadow kind of towards the inner corner of the eye right in here. See, I have smaller lid space and hooded eyes, so having these detailed brushes that are smaller it really helps me to get the shadow where i want it to be and get it to lay down where i want it to lay down without going where i don't want it to go i have to admit i am very jealous of those girls that i see that have this huge eyelid space and the beautiful creases because pretty much any look they do just looks amazing when you have smaller eyelid space like me it takes a little more work to get those looks. Slowly building that up in here. I'm gonna add just a little more red to this outer corner right here. Just to kind of blend it out a little bit more. We have a little bit more of a wing on the outside. Just kind of carefully, carefully soften that up. Kind of going out of my comfort zone here. I usually kind of stick with the bronzy and the coral and stuff like that. I'm trying to go more out of my comfort zone and try looks that are a little bit more bold and not necessarily what I would normally go for. I'm trying to make sure the eyes are even. Now for the fun part. We're going to take this base booster. This is from BH Cosmetics and it is a glitter and glitter shadow adhesive, a glitter glue. Puts it on the back of my hand and we're just going to take the brush we're going to press that into that kind of lay that on the eyelid and we're going to hope that this be swift shadow lays down where we want it to lay down and will not fall all over the eyelid the way it did when i first tried to use it because it was a mess it was like all over my face and not where i wanted it to go so we're going to lay that right here just where we're wanting to lay that glitter Ooh, I hope this comes out the way that I'm hoping that it will. You never know. I'm going to take that same brush and dip it into Be Swift. And we're going to press that right there. Ooh. So far, so good. The only thing about this particular shade I don't like is that it is very, very chunky as far as the glitters are concerned. If you don't use a glitter glue with this particular shade. It's just going to fall all over your face. But so far, using the glitter glue seems to be working. Just laying that all over where we lay down the glitter glue and it seems to be working a lot better. It's definitely, it's still not one of my favorite shades in this palette. I mean, it's a beautiful gold. I just wish that it was more of a metallic gold instead of a glitter gold. That is like my only complaint because it is, the shade itself is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to take a little bit of this undefeated shade and just kind of blend the edges out just a little bit in there. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit and take just a little bit of this strike matte shade, which is this one right here. 
I found that with that one, if you just try to take it from just straight from the pan to your brush to your eye, it will not stick very well. So you have to wet it first. So we're just going to kind of lay that in that inner corner. Just to kind of brighten everything up a little bit. Take just a little bit more of that undefeated shade. And we're going to take that right out here on the outer corner. I have never done a look this way before so I'm really not sure how it's going to look when it's all finished but I think with the liner and lashes and stuff it'll come together pretty nicely at least that's what I'm hoping anyway I'll tell you one thing this is definitely a bold look I'm gonna throw in some liner and some lashes then we'll come back and we'll see the final look hopefully everything comes together Liner lashes are done. This is the final look. I think everything came together really pretty. I used a NYX kind of a nudie berry kind of a shade. I thought that would go really well with the eye look. But let's go ahead and move on to final thoughts and what I thought about this palette after having the chance to play with a little bit more. Final thoughts on this palette. I really love this satin matte shade right here, the undefeated red shade. That went on the eyelids really really pretty i would have liked this b swift gold shade more had it been just a straight gold metallic instead of a glitter this palette is a prime example of how shades in a finger swatch don't necessarily translate to the eyelid the same because every single shimmer in this palette looked beautiful in the swatches they were smooth they were buttery but they did not translate to the eyelid the same way so that was pretty pretty disappointing as far as the rest of the mats going here, like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, those are not new. Neither is this one. I've pretty much seen all the rest of these mats in other palettes, so the, the color store itself is also not very unique. Like I said in my unboxing and stuff, if this had a beautiful shade of jade green and maybe a rich bright purple, this color story could have come together a little bit more and to me would have been more matching to the character herself. Do I think you just need this palette? If you are a Milan collector the way I am, then this will be a beautiful addition to your collection. Uh, the PR box and everything, it's just really, really beautiful as far as a display piece. Do I think you need it as far as the color story and the formula is concerned? No. There are better shimmers, there are better metallics in some of ColourPop's other palettes and the color story is, like I said, it's definitely not unique. And that was my two looks, one palette using the Milan X ColourPop eyeshadow palette. Before I go, I just want to say I know there's a lot going on in the world right now. Makeup is like the smallest, least important thing that's happening. People are angry, they're tired, they're fed up. So much is happening around us. No matter your platform, whether it's big or small, when it comes to important issues that matter, use your platform. Speak out. It's, it's so important to use your voice because so many people don't do that. You know, they're afraid to talk about things. They're afraid, you know, of what people will think if they speak out. And it is that fear that has kept us. It's that fear that has gotten us to where we are now. Don't be afraid to speak out. Use your voice. Take care of yourself. Be safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.